And today I'm going to show you how I do these cute little bee wax candles. Now today I'm going to show you how I make my beeswax candles using silicone moulds. Silicone moulds are really foolproof um, method of making beeswax candles. They're widely available on the internet and come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and are relatively cheap to buy as well. Making your own candles is a great way of using up your own beeswax if you've got a couple of, couple of hives and to add value, value to your wax. Or if you're a crafty person wanting to have a go at making your own candles either to enjoy yourself or to give as gifts. So today I've got here a silicone mould of a little skep uh, beehive and I'm going to go through the process with you from melting the wax down to, to pouring and to taking it out of the mould at the end. So first I'm going to go through with you what you need to make your own candle. The first thing you'll need is filtered beeswax. We've got these for sale on our website, available in one uh, ounce blocks or in larger one kilos, but the one ounce blocks um, I'm going to use with you today. So you need your wax first. Then you'll obviously need your silicone mould. Then you'll need your wick. Wick is the part of making uh, candles that stressed me out the most because after a lot of searching online I just couldn't find the answer as to what wick I should use with the beeswax candles. Anyway, it turns out that you need a square braided wick and you need the wick to be slightly smaller than the diameter of your, um, of your candle. So here we've got the one and a half, one and a half inch uh, wick um, or number four. Then you'll need some um, elastic bands to, to hold the mould to stop it from splitting opening when you've got the um, hot wax in it. You'll need um, two little sticks to um, balance your wick on top. You need some blue tack. Then you'll need a little uh, wick holder, which is uh, really simple. It's just basically um, two um, pieces of wood which have been tied together with elastic band. Um, I just use uh, wooden skewers for this job and then you will need either a wicking needle but again you don't need to buy the wicking needle um, you can just it simply use a wooden skewer you would use in the summer for your kebabs on the on the barbecue and you'll need this to push your wick down through the hole on the top of the mould. So first things first, we need to go ahead and melt the wax in the bain marie. Luckily, I've got the ribbon here. Um, never, uh, never melt wax or, uh, directly on heat because it's got a low flash point. We're lucky we've got the ribbon because um, there's no naked flame, and I wouldn't recommend that you do that. So I popped a few blocks of wax into the saucepan here, and as you can see, it's all melted down. So whilst the wax is melting, we're going to prepare the, the mould. So we're going to take the wick, if I can find the end, and you need to cut out in a length. So uh, slot it into the, into the channel there, making sure that you've got enough um, overhang on the bottom and then snip that off there. Then using either your knitting, sorry not knitting, wicking needle or the um, wooden skewer. Take the wick and then just thread it through that hole and then pull it out the other side, making sure that you've got enough wick on the end there. Then I'm going to take the blue tack and then I'm going to secure the wick on the top here so this will stop the wick from moving but also it'll plug that hole to ensure that no wax seeps through and make sure that you get that into the channel there so that the, uh, the mould sits completely flush on the table because you don't have a wonky candle so that's the cure then I'll turn it around so with these silicone moulds, usually there's one side that's been split 
which helps you get the candle out um, once it's set. But to stop it from opening when you've got um, wax in there, you need to secure it shut with cell, um, elastic band and make sure that they line correctly so that you don't get a ridge in your candle. So that's okay there. Next, you're gonna take your wick holder, which as I mentioned is basically just the um, wooden skewer which I've cut down and then tied together with elastic bands on each end. So push the wick up in between the two pieces. And then you're gonna take these um, pieces of wood and then slot them and rest them on the sides here, making sure that they don't actually touch the candle or they you'll get the wax on them. So make sure your wick is in the center. Yeah, that's okay. And then pull it to get the tension. And now we're ready to pour the wax in. Okay, so now the wax has melted down, I'm gonna pour this wax now into a little um, uh, small pan, which, is, which has got a handy spout to help you pour in. Um, if you haven't got one of these, um, I know some people use pieces of paper and sort of fold it and use that then to, to pour it. So I'm gonna pour this wax into the pan. And take that off the heat. So I'm gonna take the wax and be careful, remember, it's quite hot, so make sure you don't burn yourself. I'm going to pour this now into the mould. There we are, I'm stopping just there. I'm going to leave that now for around two hours and um, we'll take the candle out of the mould then. Okay, so it's now been around two hours, so we're going to take the candle out of its mould. So first of all, uh, we need to slip the wick out from the wick holder. And take the wooden wooden buttons off. Then, oh, that's just fallen out. That's the blue tack. Elastic bands off. And then we're going to carefully open the mould, but not all the way because we don't want to split the mould all the way to the end. So gently tease it open a little bit and then hold the candle and slide it out. And there we have our little skep. So I'm gonna trim the wick now on the base as neat as we can. And there's our little 100% beeswax skep candle. And so there we have it, our little uh, beehive skep candle. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and can see how easy it is to make your own candles using the silicone moulds. Remember that you can buy beeswax directly off our website and if you've enjoyed watching this video please subscribe to see other videos going up soon. Thank you for watching.